Hi, I'm Matt, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make your very own spectroscope. Um, you can download the plan for the spectroscope from the Astro 3D website. Um, don't forget, it's double-sided, so when you print it, you wanna print on both sides of the paper. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can go from a single sheet of paper and cutting out our plan to actually assembling our spectroscope. Now, if you notice here, there's a slit in one end and a piece of diffraction grating on the other end. So this uh, fancy paper box won't actually work as a spectroscope unless you've got the diffraction grating. Um, this diffraction grating can be purchased from Ebon Optics website, and we'll have a link to that on our website, and that's a nice big piece of diffraction grating there. Uh, this diffraction grating has 500 lines printed on it um, per centimeter, and that's what allows us to split the light up and analyze the spectra of different objects. So good luck in building your spectroscope and looking forward to seeing your pictures. Um, as you can see here, this is the plan. Um, that's the outline there around the outside. So you've got the plan on one side and then on the other piece of paper, you can see that it's actually all black and you've got some instructions down the side here as well. So the first step is actually to cut the plan out. So we'll do that now. Um, you can sort of start anywhere you like. I normally start with this big window here. Um, and you sort of want to be a little bit careful when cutting this plan out, just following those solid lines there. Um, probably the hardest thing to cut out is that little jaggy bit there, and I might come back to that at the very end. So now I'm just going to continue cutting this plan out. I'm just going to sort of support the page as I do it. So I've probably built about 100 of these spectroscopes. Um, I haven't counted, but I did an outreach event at Siding Spring Observatory um, for the open day, the annual open day there. And we got you know lots of school children, children coming past wanting to know what, what we're doing. So we built lots of spectroscopes that day. There we go. Now we're just rounding this edge here. Once again, just cutting along that solid line there. So you can cut this out in one piece like I'm doing now, or you can cut it out in steps. And there are parts to this build that some parts are really unforgiving, um, whereas some parts aren't. So cutting it out is, is sort of okay. I mean, you don't wanna rush it, but you don't need to be um, too meticulous with your cuts. Just once again, following that black solid line around the outside. The reason why the other side of the page is black is because that forms the interior of the spectroscope. And we want that interior to be black as to absorb any extraneous light that's sort of bouncing around the inside there. So now I've cut that section of the page off. It makes it a little bit easier. Move that out of the way. And then I'm up to this last little bit here. Okay, so there we go. That's the spectroscope plan um, fully cut out there. So you can see it's got a few different parts to it. Um, you've got this window here that juts out to the side and this window here on this side here. Once again, I need to cut this little snip out. So I'll do that now. Just being a little bit cautious. I don't wanna cut into this window. There we go. So you'll notice on the plan there that you've got some dash lines and some dotted and dash lines. And these actually mean two different things. Um, the dash lines you fold away from yourself and the dotted and dash you fold towards yourself. So you fold them up. The next thing I wanna point out is these two rectangles here. Um, you need to be very careful when you cut these. And um, this one here on the left we want to fully cut that rectangle out. And this one here on the right, we just want to cut a one mil <clears throat> excuse me, one millimeter slit down there. And I'll do that now for you. So for this one here on the left, we're just going to fold that paper a little bit and then just make a cut. 
And you can see that once I've made that cut, I can just gently rotate the page as I work my way around cutting that window out. Um, this stage, this step, um, you don't need to be, once again, too careful. Once again, just following that solid black line. However, the other window where we have to cut the slit, the one millimeter slit is actually, you know, you gotta be very careful with that one there. Okay, so just sort of just, there we go. So you can see I've got a nice little window there on my left and on the right, I've got that sort of, that line there. And so with that line, you sort of want to fold the spectroscope in on itself and then make one incision just on that line, just like that and make that cut. And then slide your scissors one millimeter down or up, either way is fine and make another cut. So what you'll notice now is I've got this little flap and so I can fold that flap up, that little piece of paper and cut it. And then if I fold the spectroscope back out, I've got a nice even slit there on the right. Um, that slit needs to be nice and straight as you can see there so that the light coming in the spectroscope is a nice linear beam. Um, if you cut that on an angle, you'll get a sort of a sawtooth approach and your spectra that you observe will be um, quite interesting, a bit different. So that's the spectroscope design fully cut out. The next step is folding. So as I said earlier, if it's a dashed line, you fold away from yourself. You just wanna fold it and then gently crease it and then folding it again on that dashed line and then gently creasing it and then folding it again. And so I'll turn it around now. Um, these are just pre-folds. So I, I always like to say to the students, you know, you're sort of telling the paper which way you want it to fold. That one away from you. This one also away. And so we've just folded all those sides there, but you also need to fold this window here. So once again, that one there folds away, just nice and carefully, a little bit of a crease. Checking out this other one. So this window here, it gets folded away. And in addition to that, we also wanna pre-fold these tabs here. So I'm just gonna do the top one first, folding it away. So you can use a ruler to sort of help guide you when you do this to provide a surface to sort of fold it on. So that top one's done and now I'm just going to do these two sides folding them away. There's one there. And there's another one there. So I've pre-folded the entire plan there and you can see all those creases. Um, the next thing is with these sections just here, one on the top um, and then two on the sides, these are the three panels that get folded towards you. So I'm just gonna put the, the plan down on the table like that and I'll, I'll start with this one on the far right, just slowly folding it towards me. Now just be careful. The other thing you can do is actually place, I might do this, place a ruler just there to provide that edge to fold it and then that one there is done. Similarly with this one here, providing that edge, folding it towards you and then done. And then this last one, folding it towards, creasing it and then done. So there's the spectroscope plan. It's been pre-folded and the next step is actually to, to sticky tape this plan together. So we'll need our sticky tape for that. Um, and so with regards to doing this, I like to actually focus on this long edge first. So I'm just gonna move my scissors and my ruler out of the way and I'm gonna flip it around. And you sort of want a piece of sticky tape the same length as that edge there, as that side. So here we go. So there's our piece of sticky tape. And when we put this on, just apply a little bit of pressure. You sort of want half of it on the actual um, tab there and the other half ready to make a bond. And I've actually got a little bit too much so I can fix that by just 
snipping that off there. We can use that off cut a little bit later on. And then this one here, just making it nice and neat. And so the first step is actually making the box. So you're actually gonna fold this all the way around until you actually get these ends lining up. So this might take a little bit of doing. There you go. And once you see you've got it right, you're just gonna apply a little bit of force and you can see that that's actually stuck together quite nicely now. So I've actually made the box. Once you've made the box, we then need to close these two ends. So there'll be this end here that we close, the end with the slit, and there'll be this end here that we close as well, the end with the window. So I'm gonna do the end with the slit first, and we sort of want three pieces of sticky tape about a centimeter or two long. Um, making one of these spectroscopes, it's really good if you do it with a partner or someone that can assist you while you do it um, to be the sticky tape dispenser. So I'm just gonna pre-sticky tape all of them. So I'm gonna put that one on there this one on the top here. And then I'm gonna put another piece of tape on the side. There we go. So once they're all pre-taped like that, you can actually just close the box. Um, you can put your finger inside just to sort of apply pressure or you can cheat and use your scissors. So you wanna put this on the inside of the box and just apply an outwards force whilst you're pushing in, just to sort of make sure that sticky tape's pushing there. And so as you can see, I've actually got my spectroscope box with my slit in and it's been nicely made. And the next step is closing this window on the end here. So once again, I'm just gonna get myself um, probably one more piece of sticky tape because I have my two off cuts from before. And what we wanna do here is you sort of wanna place your spectroscope box on the table and apply a little bit of force until you've got it making a nice box at an angle there, as you can see. So once again, it's good if you've got a partner, so one person sticks and the other person holds. But I'm just gonna do that there, or you can actually apply your tape to the tabs before you close it, so I might use that method. Just applying just a small bit of tape to these tabs. Now, if you use too much tape, that's okay. You can trim it. Okay, so I've got my, my tabs that are pre-taped. I'm just gonna sort of apply a force as I close this box up. Trying to make sure it's all square. Okay, so you can apply a little bit more tape to your tabs if you're not quite happy with your build there. There we go, that one there is quite nice. Now just be careful, when you remove this from the table, it might stick a little bit if you've got too much tape. So there's two different ways you can get rid of this excess tape that I've got over the side here. You can either fold it around, or another way is you can, you can simply just cut it off, which is perfectly fine. Okay, and we can once again put that to the side of the table and we might use that again a little bit later on. So that didn't take too long. I've made my spectroscope box. You can see the body there. It's, um, it's nicely made. We've got a one millimeter slit in one end. And then as I rotate it around, you'll notice that on the other end, I've got this nice big window here. I'm just gonna fold that little bit of tape over, which is fine, and that little bit there. So, so far we actually haven't made anything too special. It's literally just a box. The thing that takes it from being a box to a spectroscope is obviously a piece of spectroscopy um, paper. I mean, it's actually not paper, it's like overhead transparency. So if I look here, this is my, um, my spectroscopy bag, and I'll just zoom out there so you can see it all. That's it there. And so inside this little parcel, I've got this, this thin plastic sheet, and you can probably see a bit of a rainbow shine to it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut a single, sort of rectangle, I'm gonna come in about two centimeters from the end, and I'm gonna make a, a cut that's two centimeters or a rectangle that's two centimeters by three centimeters. 
Now, if you're doing this for a lot of students, you may want to rule this out with a marker before you cut them. I recommend that. Otherwise, you can do what I've just done and just cut a little bit like that. So once again, we'll zoom in and we'll finish our build here. The next thing you need to do is actually hold this spectroscopy, um, this grating, up to your eyes to find out which way it's polarized. So it's a bit hard to do it with the camera. I'll just see if I can hold that up for you there. That's it there. You actually can't see which way it's polarized. I'm just going to hold it up to my eye and I can tell that it's the lines are horizontal. So if I look at some lights, this spectra is appearing above and below. So because the spectra is appearing above and below, I actually want my window, my spectroscopy paper being that way there. So once again, this is probably one of the most important bits is to get your spectroscopy paper um, square. So I'm just going to get my spectroscopy grading there. And you don't want to touch it too much, but I'm just going to put some tape on it and then I can adhere my tape to my box and try and make sure once again that it's square. Your oops, plastic grating there should be just a little bit bigger than the window. And so I just wanna do this nice and carefully. Applying a little bit of force there. Now you don't wanna to apply too much force that the spectroscopy grating there is bent, but just enough so that it sticks. And I'm just going to use a tiny bit more tape. So here I go. I'm just going to put a little bit at the bottom here. Um, probably two centimeters is too much. And so here it is. I'm just going to apply about four mil worth of tape at the bottom there. Now I've put the tape at the top and the bottom. You can put the tape to the sides. It doesn't matter too much. There we go. And so that one there, you just got to apply a little bit of force to make it stick. And as you can see, I've now finished the spectroscope build. Um, I've got the diffraction grading on one side there and then the slit on the other side. And so in the next video, you can see that as I hold this up to the camera, the camera itself is going to become a spectroscope. And you can see those spectra just from the ambient light in the room and those spectra lines lining up there, which is pretty cool. So in the next video, I'm gonna show you actually how to use this spectroscope to analyze a variety of different things.